In this course, you're going to learn about window events in jQuery. Basically, we have four types of window events in jQuery, out of which the first two load and unload have been removed in jQuery version 3. So there is no point in learning them now because they will not be there in the next version either. If I tell you this once, if you are working on a website that already has these events, then you should know how they work and what they mean. So let's see how to use resize and scroll practically. Look here, here we have created a basic HTML document. Here we have a heading and a dot. We have a paragraph here and below it. This is a dummy paragraph so that the scroll bar can be scrolled here. And in this day, you're also seeing that the scroll bar is also scrolling here because the content is overflowing. For what else will the content flow in it? We have set the right out with the given and the background color is also set to purple. Now let's look at the bottom of the HTML. Look here, here is a heading and here is a dot on which an ID is given. There is a box and below it is a paragraph. And at the bottom, there is a jQuery file. And lastly, we have added an external jQuery. We're going to do a practical video on window events. So let's see, first of all, I will show you my jQuery. I take the basic code of. the name of which is document. Ready, so I put a dollar sign here and wrote document. Ready and inside it I take a function, and in the last I add a semicolon inside it. Now I can scroll the window, so for that there is an object called window. So see how to use it. First I will have to make a selector for the window itself. So what do I have to do here? So the first event that I am going to use is called scroll. So what does it basically mean that as soon as I scroll the window, see as soon as, I start scrolling the page, then the event will be triggered, so see how to do it, I write a function inside it, and inside it I print something in the console, log and I just print a message in it, and see here I saved the file first I open the console here, so I right click and inspect, and see here now I scroll this window, see as I, I am scrolling, and the message is being displayed here. You are seeing that every time I am scrolling, this number is getting increment, meaning that this message is being printed so many times. This is what happens when scrolling. Now this event called scroll is not only on the window, you can also apply it to any depth. For example, see that this D also has a scroll bar. For that, see here I will take its ID here. I took the ID here, and on this day I have attached the ID to the box. So as soon as I scroll on the box, the event will be triggered. See now if I am scrolling on the window, See nothing is happening, nothing is being printed in the console, but as soon as I click on the scroll work of the box, meaning that I am scrolling, the message below is being printed continuously. You are seeing that the number is getting increment, so this means that you can also apply it to the window and on any depth. 
Now I can apply it to the We can go, and on a dip we will tell you which is again another event, which is called resize. So how does it work on the window, I have copied the same function to the scroll one. And here look I write window, I don't need to take the window in the course, because it is an object, and here I print the message. So you see I have saved the file, see this is my window, I am waiting for it a little bit see, as soon as I left it for a second I have written. Resize here I have to change it here I have to name the. Event resize I have saved the file. And see this you are seeing here the message is displayed in the console, now I am making it smaller, even then this event is getting triggered, and the message is getting displayed, I show you again see every time I am resizing the window, it is the turn of the message is getting increment, so this is what our event named resize means. Now here I will tell you two events that have been closed to us. After 3.0, if the version is loading, then see if I can use them. This means that if you are working on the old version by downloading it, then you can use it. This means that as soon as the window loads, meaning that the page opens, then this event will be triggered. You can also do this event here. Here, our document.ready is also doing the same thing. You can do this work directly in it. Inside the document.ready, and its second function is called window.unload. See how to write it, but it will not work here because the version we are using has a name. Its number is 31. It does not work. If you are working on the old version, then it will work. What does this mean? As soon as the window starts closing, meaning that as soon as the page opens, this event will be triggered. The browser will close the side window, click on the cross here, then this event will trigger itself. So you have seen how scroll and resize work in. Thanks watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe.